I don't normally buy two of anything, but just this week I listened um, to the remix remastered version of Rust in Peace and um, I have all of these uh, remixed and remastered because when I started buying CDs again I didn't realise that they were diabolical. So I just bought them all and thought, oh, they make a nice little picture down the spine and stuff. And um, I put Rust in Peace on because, to be quite honest, it's not an album I listen to as much as I used to anymore, just simply because I've heard it that much. But um, I still love it. I still think it's a fantastic album. And uh, I put it on the other day and I just couldn't believe my ears. I got three songs in. And I've had to go out and, and pick up the original, uh, no, it's in the studio, um, you know, the original release. Um, it's just, talk about um, sort of squashing the sound. That, that sounds like what you would imagine vinyl to sound like. And that is just... Um, I, I've done a screenshot of the two um, wave files um, and you can see how much they've brick walled the 2004 um, reissue. I'll put it in along the bottom. Um, so you can see the big thick fat line running right across means basically everything has been turned up to make it ridiculously loud with absolutely no um the the album sounds cold and and has no feeling no warmth of, of um or sort of vintage vibe sort of sound to it whatsoever and obviously you can see that the um the thinner line is the original release so um i think i'm gonna have to get the uh Replacements of my three favourite um, Megadeth albums, which is um, Peace Cells, So Far So Good, and obviously Rust in Peace. Um, I'm going to pick up them other two as well because they all sound absolutely abysmal. So, just a short video warning you to keep it. I mean, that is like fair enough, that's only five pounds um, to buy new, but this has just come today in mint condition for four pound so you are as well looking out for the original presses thanks for watching